Hello students, today we are going to see growth chart. The growth chart which we use in India is this. This is a WHO growth chart. We have orange, yellow and green zone. Green zone is actually normal. Yellow zone is minus 2 standard deviation to 3 st standard deviation. That means the child is moderately underweight if the child falls here and severely underweight if the child falls in the orange zone that is below 3 standard deviation. What it means is most of the children will fall above the green line or in the green line. But when the children's uh, growth curve goes to yellow or orange zone, it indicates some pathology. So there is separate uh, growth chart for girls and boys. And in the growth chart, what is plotted here is the age is plotted here uh, in terms of month, first month, second month, first month, second month, third month, fourth month like that till first year. Then this is uh, second year and this is third year. So the uh, growth chart is for three years. And in the left hand side, the column, what is given here is the weight in kilograms. So what you have to do is you have to plot the weight every month, first month, second month, third month, like that every month the growth should be plotted and these dotted lines should be joined together. So suppose the growth curve goes like this, then nothing to worry. But suppose this same growth curve, uh, it follows a different pattern. For example, the child's growth is like this and then suddenly we see a dip here and then again the child uh, grows like this. Then we can see the child has suffered from some severe illness during this time. That is corresponding to seven to uh, one year and seven months. There was some major illness or some major problem for the child. Because of that, we had a dip in the growth, dip in the weight of the child. This growth chart has so many uses. The first and foremost use is for the mother because it is maintained in the mother with the mother. The mother can see how the child is growing and there are some health educational advices given to the mother what to do when fever is there, what to do when respiratory infection is there. The health education messages are given here. So it acts as a very good tool for the mother first and foremost this is the thing. Second thing is Second thing is, it acts as a very good educational tool for the healthcare provider. The healthcare provider will know well the, why, whether the baby is sick or not with the help of growth chart. Third thing, so it is used for research purpose. See, like the, the, like this growth chart will be there for many mothers. See, suppose in a particular area there are 1000 children. So, there will be 1000 growth card will be there. So, if you take all the growth card and you see how the growth pattern of the child in that particular area, you will get one common curve. If that common curve is uh, progressing in this way, in, in, then it is good. Suppose the uh, curve is progressing like this, that means that area malnutrition problem is very high. So, the government can plan for some intervention. So, the fourth thing is for policy planning and policy making, this growth card is very very essential. And fifth thing is you have implemented some policy. How do you know the policy is effective or not? The effectiveness of the policy again can be seen with the help of growth chart. The, the, again some thousand children are there. Then their uh, common growth curve is going like this. That means the policy plan program is effective. But suppose uh, once again the growth curve doesn't improve, it is still falling like this, then there is some other problem. So that should be investigated. So in this way the growth chart is useful for mother as well as the healthcare provider as well as for researcher as well as for the government for policy making and assessing its effectiveness. I hope this video on growth chart was useful for you. Kindly subscribe our channel Community Medicine Easy for more such useful videos. Until then goodbye from Dr. Karthike. Bye bye.